is the look that I will be recreating. Hey, it's your girl T Nailed It back with another video. Okay, so I am using the off white color, the nut color, <laughs> and I'm it's gonna be ombre as you seen in the picture. They're gonna be ombre, so you can just watch me do this. Oh, and hey, and thank you guys for subscribing and liking and coming on my last video. I appreciate all the love, and I will be choosing my winner for um. I mean, I will be doing the raffle for um for the stuff from my last video. Yeah, I know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go um and enter on my Instagram at tnildy1. So I'm just doing my ombre here, and I'm capping it. But encapsulating the nail, kind of really just building it up right here. And looking at it from the side, yes, you guys. And look, I got a new nail table. Thank you to my boyfriend, he got me a new nail table. I appreciate it, I needed it. So, yes, yes, yes. I'm doing this, and I've been feeling under the weather, that's why I haven't been uploading. I'm so sorry. I've been feeling under the weather. I you can kind of still hear it in my throat, but I'm I'm getting better now. So I was like, let me do this video. Look in, look at it. And I'm just putting it um no color on there. The color is very, very light. So I'm kind of like I'm kind of applying a lot of layers on there. And this one is well. And this is my tips are dub double tips so on the middle finger i feel like that i could see it so i'm go i'm gonna go back over it again in just a sec okay and you did you see how i tapped it to the ground i like when i'm doing my own nails like i don't want it to be like a runny ball because it'll run and i'm not fast enough to catch it because it's my own hand so i can't i like drying them out sometimes i dry them out just dry it just a little bit so it won't run as fast yeah and i love these nails i love them uh, so i'm um building up the nail with the clear guys i'm so happy i reached 300 subscribers i'm so 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 excited and i'm so grateful and i'm i'm starting to like this youtube stuff <laughs> okay so i'm doing the um ombre um, right here okay and on this part i had a couple of little gaps in there and so i'm gonna have to go back in filling those gaps and it's because the angle i was holding my brush yet it made me put like little holes in the acrylic so now i'm just going back and i'm filling the holes and I am going to go back over the the nut color as well. Because as you can see, like right there in the middle where the other tip is, you can see it. So it made me like go back over it. So now I'm I'm building it up. But I'm going to see it at the end. I don't know when I'm going to see it. But I'm going to see it. And I'm going to be like, oh my God. I can see clean through this nail into this other tip. Oh, they so cute. Look, I think I'm looking at it now like what? Yeah, right here. See, I'm trying to build it up a little more because I don't want to see through the nail like that. You know, it's cute and all, but I don't want to see through it. Okay, and this nail right here is going to be all new pink. And it's gonna be a marble nail. Mm -mm -mm. 
nails. Okay, so I'm just going to make this nail all pink and just make sure it's not see through. Because I try to use as little product as I have to because I do not want to, um, you know, just be using up my product, you know, especially on myself. You know, I'm not paying, so I don't want to, uh, hey, I'm not paying, so I'm not going to use up all my product on myself. So I'm just continuously building this nail. Oh, it's so pretty so pretty <laughs> yeah and you see how i'm holding the nail down watch when i put the clear on there you see i hold it down a little i'm holding it down so the nail the acrylic can just flow downward instead of you know like going in a different direction and it's just easier for it to just flow down it just flows down very smoothly oh it's so pretty uh -oh like nail porn okay and this one will also be ombre and i did a thin ballerina tip on this one i didn't do stiletto or coffin it's a thin ballerina tip and i like it i'm think i'm i think i'm a my next set is going to be all of all this shape maybe oh and you guys let me know if you want to see me do the scrawl nails i don't know if y'all heard seen that but let me know if y'all want me to do the scrawl nails or any type of exotic nails that y'all want to see me do let me know and i'm down to try anything i'm crazy so let me know if y'all see any exotic nails um leave them in the comment box below and i will come back and let y'all know if i'm gonna do them or when i'm gonna do them because i need some ideas Okay, I'm just getting a cuticle area, making sure the shape is good. Mm -mm. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you if you are not subscribed to my channel and you are watching this video, hit the subscribe button right now. Hit it right now in the like button. Come on, you guys, show me some love. And I will you leave my Instagram down below. My Instagram and my um Facebook. But everything is the same. T nailed it or T nailed it one. So now I'm just shaping. Just shaping the nails up. So with this um ballerina tip, I'ma cut it because I feel like that it was. It was so close to stiletto. Y'all can see, you can see it, but I just feel like it was too close to stiletto. So, yeah, I cut it a little bit. So at least I'm using regular white polish for this look. Regular white. I know this is what y'all here for. Dun dun dun. So this is regular white polish. And I'm just drawing a line. And another line. <laughs> so and this is how I, I, I would do it. I don't know how they did it. I'ma um show a picture. Up at the top and I, i'm gonna show a picture at, at the beginning too i guess i don't know why i'm telling y'all this because it's already been shown but i'm showing a picture up at the top of the look that i'm doing i don't know how they achieve the look but this is how i would do it or how i did the look and i think i got good results okay so now i'm gonna let this dry so while it's drying i decided to do my marble a marble nail i hadn't i wasn't really even gonna do a marble but since i was waiting i was like yeah i'm gonna do this one marble then get my little tools out okay so it's gonna be marble on this finger okay so make sure you polish it first i had forget and that's why i was like yeah look at this because I, I forgot for a second that you know it's gonna be so 
I don't know. It's like you needed to not be um, like rough. You need that smooth surface. It do better in a smooth surface. Yep. So my light was unplugged. I had to plug it up. <laughs> and make sure. Oh, yeah. I touched that finger. Okay. So while I was plugging it up, I made a mistake and touched my finger by mistake. I made a mistake and touch um, my ring finger, so I'm going to have to go back and redo that. Okay. So it's dry. Now I'm just making lines. And I'm really, I ain't going to say I'm in a rush doing this video, but my, um, my boyfriend was hungry, so I'm just like, oh my God. I gotta feed my boyfriend. So I'm trying to get it done. And it didn't take me like, it took me like an hour, maybe. Maybe not if that to do my nails. Okay, so I don't like, <laughs> I, I'm resourceful with my brushes, right? So I don't have like a million brushes, like people have a million brushes. I don't have a million brushes. I practically use this brush for everything and anything, really. And I just clean it out after. And so right now I'm just fiddling with the um the whites and that's good. It's pretty. Um, okay, so now I'm feeling it with area that I messed up in. Okay, so this is the unique part. Yeah, I, like I said, I do not have a lot of brushes, right? So, I'm taking this brush from the white, and I'm going to clean it. Because, you know, it's the perfect size, because I use this brush to make the lines. So, I feel like it's the perfect size to do what I finna do. Don't judge me. Do not judge me. Okay, so I'm just cleaning the brush, and I'm going to use this brush with the top coat to to um use the top coat so i'm gonna trace over my white with my top coat okay so i'm done with that and now i'm <laughs> i'm gonna use the white the brush that i use the white with yeah, it's so funny that this is what I do. But yes, I, I'm just not a brush person. I just I just feel like I don't need a lot of brushes. Okay, so now I'm tracing it to the T because it's the same brush. So, so I'm just tracing it. I'm tracing this line as well. And this one. Okay. Now. Okay, I'm going to put that in the dryer. Put it in the dryer. My dryer was backwards, so it just would not. It was just so crazy, but. Yes. So now they are ready. So this is the little brush thing I'm using. And these are the three colors. I'm going to use well, yeah. well let me move everything out of the way first. And now these are my three colors I'm going to use on my nail. I'm out of focus, but I'm using the blue. And it is kind of a padding like just pat it in there and it's, it just adheres to it so i'm just patting it and it's not getting on the like the off-white color it's not getting on it it's only getting on the part that i put the top coat on tapping it tapping it yeah, I'm, I'm so like proud of myself for doing this look like i like jordan hey and i want to give a shout out to jordan she um the one who 
gave me the idea to do this look and i'm gonna link her um youtube down below she um sells hair and lashes and if you're in memphis and you need some hair and lashes go to join this my girl and so she um she sent me this well she tagged me in it on facebook and i was like yeah i'm gonna do that and i was like last night i didn't know what to do with my nails i was like yeah i'm gonna do what jordan jordan told me to do because this look is so bomb and i'm gonna make sure i leave her um youtube down below she she um gave away a free lash vendor on her youtube so go look at it it's the um good vendor i checked it out myself You want to sell you some lashes. So basically, I'm just patting, just patting it in. You know, just kind of blending it down a little. And I'm going to go up like this. It's kind of like the rough draft. Like, you know, it's blended, but, you know, it ain't blended, blended. So I'm going to go over it again. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was so excited. I was like, yes, first try. First try, and I get it so i'm just dusting it off so you can see that it's not on the off-white color like at all it's not on there at all look how pretty it is oh my goodness okay so now i'm just gonna redo it so now i'm just doing now this is the part where i'm doing most of the blending or trying to get the the color blended well So yeah, now I'm using the green and I'm just getting it blended. I bet the, the background noise is changing because I'm literally walking through the house while I'm doing this because I have an appointment coming up and I'm trying to record this video before i mean do the voiceover before my appointment okay so on this part right here i'm just kind of cleaning it and as soon as i did it i got it on the white part and so i had to go back in and apply it again and so like you can't tell from this point of view but once you guys try this out you're gonna be able to um to see what i'm saying it's gonna be like on there just a little bit if you put a little top coat on the um the other part of the nail that you want, the part that's not white, then it's gonna have um like a little streak. It's, it's very light, but I just wanted to get it off. I just, you know, I just wanted to get it off. And so I'm just cleaning it away. Ba ba Pop, lock, and drop it. Okay, ooh, the most embarrassing part of my life right here. <laughs> so this was so hard for me like oh my god like it was it was ridiculous so i'm using the top coat right here so it won't be as sticky because you know if you use gel you know how sticky it is it, and it'll have all type of little fuzz in it so Gelled in top coat. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put it on. This is attempt one. <laughs> now, y'all know I don't like gloves, so like, ooh, they was hindering my life. I could not. And it, it just sliding all, just sliding all around. It's just much easier when it's not your hand. It's way easier to do stuff when it's not on yourself. And so now I'm I'm trying it again. I feel like I need a bigger hunk, a bigger ball of gel. So now I got a big old, big old ball of gel on there. So I'm putting it all up against there with my hands, no glove. And you see, it's just, it's more stable and sturdy with my no glove. But for some reason, I just could not figure out how I want them. <laughs> so I'm just um, picking around with them, basically. 
mm, until I get it how I want it, and then I'm gonna put it in the dryer. Look, oh my goodness. And I'll be back with another video next week. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you like the content, please leave a comment down below. Thank you guys. And I'll see you on my next video.